Chuck Doc number three going into the bye week. Players, formations, plays. Players, formations, plays. Continue to have that rattle in your head every time you go back and you look at these plays. And this is first and goal at the five yard line going in before half. So much momentum can be gained with the scoring going into halftime, coming out of halftime. And the Seahawks put another touchdown on the board to go into half 17 to three. And they did it with a play that we've not really seen with Marshawn Lynch in the position he was in. Players, players, put Russell Wilson in empty. You see this formation quite a bit from the Seahawks because obviously he's really good, he's really comfortable, and he's done this for a long time in empty. What you've not seen as a player an awful lot is putting Marshawn Lynch spread out as a receiver. But you know what he showed in the execution of this? Yeah, as a player, you can put him anywhere. In the screen game, he's been an excellent receiver, but this time they flank him wide and actually use his strength as a receiver. And as you'll see in the play end of it, boy, does he execute beautifully. Secondly, formations. Once again, you're an 11 personnel, a very popular personnel group with the Seahawks. One back, one tight end. They happen to be lined up next to each other in empty. And your three wide receivers on the other side. What does that do to Denver? Well, it gets Nickel out on the field there. Nickel pass rush with DeMarcus Ware on, on one end. And, and difference makers for them filling it out. Uh, what you also get, and here's a real key. Here's when you get into this formation of empty and you get in this personnel group, remember, it's all about a tell. I'm doing these things so you can show your hand. And the minute the Denver goes corner over, Number three knows that they're playing man to man. When you get in these sets and you get into three by two sets or three by one sets, if they go corner over as Denver does, well immediately, Russell Wilson knows they're playing man to man coverage. The other tell is obviously TJ Ward in a press alignment. Everything is man to man. The linebacker out on Marshawn. So by personnel group, you get the grouping defensively you want. Von Miller, Demarcus Ware. By formation, you get a good tell for your quarterback that they're playing man coverage. And then ultimately they run the play. And it's a play that they've run a ton just with different people doing it. They're going to run their little snag concept here, which is their corner flat and a little pivot route and give Denver credit. If Russell would have gone to that side with the three on three man, that was really a dead play. They did a nice job of jamming Percy up and making this a really closed window, this side of the field out of the equation. The whole time though, number three, he wants this two on two matchup. He sees a free safety in the middle of the field. He knows he has this whole side of the field to work with and he's gonna rely and trust upon Marshawn to do his job. Lastly, watch him at a linebacker here. Watch Nate Irving. It's incredible that the snap comes and you see Russell, well, once again, looking the people off. He does it super quick, but he's looking, knowing where he wants to go, right? He's not having to read it or see it open. When he says, I'm locked in, I see the coverage, watch him immediately. Take the snap and he looks those guys off to make sure that that safety doesn't come screaming. So he settles and Irving doesn't move. He does not move an inch on this play. Why? Well, he is spying Russell Wilson. So in some ways, his running ability once again takes him out of coverage. He holds the free safety, and then truly, it's two on two. And Tom Moore, my coordinator in Indianapolis, always used to say, my job as a coordinator is to get you in one-on-one -on -one situations. And that's exactly what he does here. A two on two that turns into a one-on-one -on -one as Zach Miller runs off TJ Ward and has a tremendous rev route, slant route by Marshawn. No chance for a linebacker to get through it. The key, Zach Miller makes no contact with the linebacker. The second key, Marshawn doesn't rush it. Most of these running backs, when they get out there, they rush it, they're blind, they're not in that position. He doesn't, he has great patience. He lets Zach Miller rub it off. He comes underneath that, and boy, do they execute for the big touchdown before half. A ton of insight of the play, of the formation, of the personnel groups, of the man-to-man -man concepts that Russell, yeah, Russell took advantage of.